So you've decided to learn Unity because you want to build some awesome augmented reality apps. And you've been told that AR Foundation is the way to go if you're using Unity. The problem is the documentation isn't super helpful. Um, it's kind of hard to learn from a wall of text. And if you go through a tutorial or play with AR Foundation samples, you might feel like you're copy and pasting code without truly understanding how it works. If that describes you, then this video is for you. So in the rest of this video, I discuss two things you need to know before jumping into any AR Foundation coding, so that you approach AR Foundation with a firm understanding of what you're doing. First up, let's cover SLAM. So at its core, AR is an illusion. By overlaying virtual objects on top of your smartphone's camera feed, we make it seem like the virtual content is part of the real world. But how do we know where to place the virtual objects? This is done through a technique known as simultaneous localization and mapping, SLAM for short, which is more catchy. You might also hear SLAM referred to as concurrent odometry and mapping or markerless tracking. These are just two terms of art that describe the technique differently, but refer to the same technique. So SLAM is basically this. If you lost your memory and woke up in a new room, you're, so you're a robot, you will look around you to get a sense of where you are. By seeing a wall two meters in front of you, and maybe a bedside table half a meter to your right, you would know that if you move, you'll be moving relative to this starting place. Your phone does the same thing. It detects feature points, visually distinct points of interest in the camera feed, and uses the change of position of these points, along with its sensor data, to estimate the phone's position and orientation relative to the world over time. And uh, here are some example feature points circled in red. With this computational understanding, your phone can do all sorts of things. It can guess that a cluster of feature points is a wall or tabletop, known as plane detection. It can check whether your phone is pointed at a plane, and it can use that info for user interaction, which is raycasting. It can place virtual objects on planes, which is anchors, or it can synchronize feature points with other phones for multiplayer gaming experiences. And of course, that's just the tip of the iceberg. AR is a whole grab bag of techniques, but SLAM is at its core. So this SLAM thing sounds pretty great, in theory, right? Well, you still gotta build everything we described. Luckily for us, the computer vision engineers at Apple and Google have written the code to do SLAM and other techniques for us and they've exposed that functionality as APIs in ARKit and ARCore. The engineers at Unity take that one step further. They basically say, hey, Apple and Google, both your APIs do the same thing, so we're going to write a wrapper layer that abstracts away both your APIs. The end result? You have one clean API to learn, which is that of AR Foundation. And that's where we come in. We want to learn AR Foundation's interface so that we can focus on building the awesome AR experiences on top. Let specialist computer vision engineers build the Lego bricks, and we build the awesome Lego models. So to test your understanding of the concepts above, I present a simple exercise. Go through the list of features documented by AR Foundation, and for each feature, write one sentence about how you think it relates to other features. For example, device tracking. That implements SLAM, and it allows us to know where the device is relative to some starting place, and so on and so forth. There aren't any right answers. The whole point is to start building a mental model of how AR works. As you learn more, you'll revise your mental model, but having a working model to start allows you to approach any AR Foundation tutorial with a firm understanding of the basic concepts. And for your convenience, I've provided a link in the description below for you to take notes. And that wraps up this video. The key takeaways? There's this technique called SLAM at the core of AR, which allows us to do things like detect planes and place objects. And there's this API called AR Foundation that does all the heavy lifting software engineering for us, so we can focus on building the awesome apps on top. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. Did you find this video to be useful? Please leave a comment in the comments below.